I dream of picket fences and hardwood stains. Like a lot of musicians, Christopher Essex moved to Nashville with a dream in his head and a song in his heart. So we plan to build a house. Place of our own. I was young enough and I figured if I'm going to risk leaving everything for something, let's do it for this. But just as he was about ready to hit the stage, he had to run for cover. All of our windows popped in at that point, like the pressure just kind of imploded everything. The tornado came straight through Christopher's backyard. It took out this house, the back half of the house they were living in, and then it leveled this grove of trees that once stood tall and is now nothing but splinters. So the yellow line right here, this is the eye that came straight through. First was the storm, then came the plague. I got a call from work saying, you don't need to come into work. We're going to be closing down for two weeks. And then two weeks turned into a month, months after that. Within just a span of two weeks, Christopher became homeless. The glass, like debris, like funneled through my room. <laughs> jobless, and as he struggled with Tennessee's unemployment system, hopeless. I don't think I've talked to the man upstairs as much as I did during this time because I was asking him, am I reading these signs correctly? And it wasn't just his spirits dwindling, so was his access to food. The rental that we had, the shelves were just pretty much empty. Then a knock on the door changed everything. It was Second Harvest Food Bank making a home delivery. That knock, that was the sign that said you're misreading the signs that I'm giving you. They're not saying to pack up. They're saying you have been on the go for so long, you're going to have to fight harder to dig your heels in to make this your home. And I did. All right, come here. That was the turning point. Pieces of his life started coming back together. His Wilson County home was repaired. A dream of picket fan. And he was performing again. Not for a live show, but for a live audience on Instagram. But it was on Instagram where he gave his best performance yet. If there's anything I could ask for for my birthday, it would be to raise a lot of money for them. He offered up a 10-minute private FaceTime for $10, all to be donated back to Second Harvest Food Bank. 10 minutes turned into 10 hours. We filled up the whole time slot, and then I still had people that were just like, I'd, I'd, I'd rather, you know, just donate. Christopher dropped off a check Friday for $1,200. That equals out to about 4,000 meals that Second Harvest can now provide. Donations that will hopefully allow other hearts that a dream of picket fences to sing along to. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.